The second RMA came back on my Gigabyte motherboard. Let's test this thing out. Checking the serial number, this is not the same motherboard that I sent them, they have replaced it. Processor and cooling fans installed, powers connected, monitors connected, keyboards connected. Now for the moment of truth, and I'm going to short out the power. Fan spinning up. BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure your BIOS setup items if needed. I've successfully gotten into the BIOS on this Gigabyte X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming on this replacement board when I couldn't even get this far on my old board. So that's good. So now I have a big decision to make. Do I keep my ASRock B450M Pro 4 as my primary machine? It has been doing good for me over the past few weeks. Or do I move all my best hardware from this machine onto the Aorus X470 Ultra Gaming and make this my primary machine? Several factors come into play here. The Aorus X470 has more PCI slots. The Gigabyte has six SATA ports, whereas the ASRock only has four. The Gigabyte is a full ATX form factor. The ASRock is a micro ATX, and therefore this one could fit into a smaller case if I want to build a smaller machine. The Gigabyte board has two USB 3 headers and a USB 3.1 C header. The ASRock board just has one USB 3 header. They both have two USB 2 headers. But one of the biggest factors is the ASRock has proven its stability to me. Will this suffer the same fate as my last one? Time will tell. At least I have a stable backup if I switch to this motherboard. After thinking about it, I've decided to put the ATX motherboard inside the ATX case. So I'm gonna be putting all my best hardware on the Gigabyte board and then putting my other hardware on this ASRock board. This means I need to swap out the CPU, cooling fans, and RAM. Okay, I got Windows installed, I got Task Manager running, CPU's looking good, memory's running at 3200 megahertz, which I want. All right, let's hook up my optical drives, my SSD, and see if I can get those running. Okay, my Evo drive's been detected, both my optical drives have been detected. Now I want to hook up my front uh, headers, my microphone headphones, USB 3 and USB 2. Okay, those are hooked up. Now I'm working on cooling. I have some, I have two fans here behind this filter on the front case. 
put this in. Now most of the cord is behind the case here and I like that. I'm going to clip the front back on now. Looks good. Now I want to mount two fans up to the top. My front fans are spinning, my top fans are spinning, my case fan is spinning. I use splitters on both the front fans and the top fans and that's why my BIOS only shows four fans spinning. But there are actually two, four, five, and the CPU is six. Plenty of cooling going on here. This motherboard has a header for case temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in so it can measure the temperature inside the case. Everything seems to be working properly, but I want to do one more thing before I quit for the evening. And that's hook up this USB 3 hub in this empty five and a quarter slot here. So that I have plenty of USB 3 expansion right there on the front of my case. Okay, I think I'm ready to do a little cable management and put this thing in the computer room. Considering the problems that I had with my first Gigabyte X470 Aorus Ultra Gaming, I was concerned that this one might also give me problems, but so far it hasn't. I've edited two videos with it so far, everything's turned out good, so I'm going to keep this board in my primary editing machine. As far as the ASRock board, Later down the line, I'll build another machine out of it, probably make a video about it, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.